So we're getting ready for my next build and I'm just going to show you what was going to be the, uh, the next one that didn't quite pan out. So here we go. So I was going to build a Speedy B all in one and I made a mistake. Um, I was a bit silly really. I used a, a, uh, a cheap and dirty power lead and I managed to invert the, um, the battery leads. I should have used one like this, of course, which is clearly color coded. So it burnt through a wire very quickly, and I thought maybe I'm okay. But I think as it's turned out, um, one of the ESCs for this motor, this rear motor here, I think is gone. I can spin the motor up to some extent, but then it won't go to full power. Um, so yes, I did try it with this one. I've done quite a few things. The only thing I haven't done is to reflash uh, Blue Jay, but as I say, it seems to start up all right, all the motors start, it just won't spin up. A um, couple of things with this build, the, I went back to a, I went to a lighter, um, lighter gauge of polycarbonate and it's a bit too flexible. I mean, it'll probably stiffen up with a cover on, but it's not ideal. And the, uh, the other thing was, I realised, compared to my traditional preferred um, processes, the pads on this thing, thing are tiny. Yeah, soldering the leads for the ELRS receiver, but the pads are tiny. So it was a real pain. What I realised, if you're soldering something this small, you've really got to um, make sure you don't cut back too much insulation, because if, if the wires are too exposed, and you bend them a bit, then they can rub together. So, a bit fiddly. My mistake is probably wrecked this thing, but as a result of this, I've gone back to my traditional things with nice big pads. Slightly different sound firing up because it's, um, it's running uh, Blue Jay. So, so far so good. This is a very minimal build. It's just got the ELRS controller on it and nothing much else. Welcome to HTX. Designed for angle mode. So wait. Telemetry connected. So we're connected. Twenty five milliwatts four point one Getting telemetry. And this is what happens when I fire it up. So three out of four of the ESCs are working. Two minutes. So I'm taking the, uh, the battery strapping off so I can show you what's going on. That's just the way to attach the battery. So what we have here is the all-in-one. When I went to buy another of the uh, Speedy B uh, popular 4 or 5 set, either a V3 or a V4, I picked up a V3, genuine one, but they cancelled the sale. They said they couldn't provide it. So I went for the one of these all-in-ones instead. So moving along, this is my current build. So as I say, I've got this Speedy B um, F405, 60 amp one this time. Um, there's the polycarbonate, same thickness as the previous frame, though this time a cleaner cut using a power tool. Um, these old trusty, trusty motors, inexpensive, been around for ages, they've got proper clockwise, counterclockwise things, unlike some of the modern fancy stuff. So the props are self-tightening normally. Uh, so four of those. I've got a, uh, a JB Edition uh, Phoenix 2, I think it is, camera there, analog camera of course. And uh, what else do I need? Oh yeah, I've found a local source for um, stainless steel um, bolts and nuts to put the thing together with. Just down the road, instead of buying, getting them in from Queensland over the internet. Here's my old faithful RP2 um, ELRS receiver from Radio Master. Uh, the VTX, again I'm using the Zeus VTX with this little thing there. I'll chop it back to size to fit the way I did with the previous build. Uh, and over here I've got the, the beeper, the 100 decibel uh, beepers that uh, 
I've recently got into that seem to work really well. So putting it all together, those are all the components you need. You need, say, a frame, motors, bolts and nuts, um, flight processor. Oh, and up the top there, of course, is the GPS. And I've gone for the um, the non-mini one because they actually seem to pull in um, more satellites faster. Plus, they've got an extra two leads for um, magnetometer. Yeah, something extra. And they're not much more expensive than the minis. So that's what I've gone for this time. So, next thing to do is to put it all together. Plenty of time because this is almost like a replica of the original one which I'll just show you now as a reminder of uh, how it all goes. So here in this cabinet, oh, there's the one with the Mike's three motors, which are fixed. I had to replace the motor and it's working again. And up the top is my pride and joy, the first of the polycarb frame builds that uh, I'm still enjoying very much. Now here's a couple of old older ones, which are still good. They're fully kitted up. And they're good for long range because they fly fast with those big props, about seven and a half inch. And over here, a nod to the past, this is your traditional Bugs 3 frame. But again, it's got uh, Speedy B405 in it and bigger props. And going back to things, so a bit sad that built, but uh, everybody makes mistakes. But in terms of mistakes, that's a whopper. It almost made me think of maybe I should use a smoke stopper. But uh, normally common sense is enough to avoid... Uh, mistakes of that nature. So another rainy day, we seem to be having a few of them lately, so uh, when I feel like it, I'll put all this stuff together, ready for when the weather clears up, and uh, go from there. So once again, bye for now.